So I just interviewed the Supernatural boys and the executive producers. <laughs> They're all so nice and so pretty. And <sighs> I think this was like one of the best experiences I have had at Comic-Con. Like this is my Jeremy Jordan. This is it. And I had three. Well, I had four, but we didn't get marked. All right, get psyched for season 12 and talked about that a little bit. I'm really excited. British Men of Letters. We got Mary Winchester coming back and this is going to be a wild ride and I'm really looking forward to it. Watch the videos. They can tell you all about season 12. Did you enjoy the panel? I came to visit last time and um, Jensen called me out for the audience and then I got mobbed to come down the hall. It was my first real proper experience. Five years ago I hadn't even heard of Comic-Con. Um, I think Comic-Con's grown so much in the last maybe longer but you know, I'm from a small country. Rowena's always having fun. Ruth's always yeah, having loads of fun on set as well, for, for sure. No, Rowena's always having fun. And it's actually, the, the end of the season has affected her. Uh, and I'm, that makes me happy as an actress. You know, there's something, there's a new flavour. And it's interesting to see what she's trying to do, how she's trying to change her life, and how, you know, but inevitably she gets drawn to the, the madness and uh, the Winchesters again. Uh, she may be exploring different facets of, uh, of of life and opportunity away from uh, demons and monsters, shall we say. I've got some, oh, I, I mean, I love what I get given to say. I've got some great one-liners. Yeah, there's some, there's a corker in there that, that, does, that, that, that pertains to some politics that's going on just now. So I, yeah, I can't wait for it to air. It's a lot of fun. I mean, they're never, they're not going to change, you know what I mean? They're still Rowena, it's still Crowley. It's just how they negotiate each other and what they want and what they need from each other. And I, I love the little moments that bleed through where you maybe see something that's real or about the relationship or intimate about the relationship. And uh, there's a moment that I'm really, that I, 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 I have in my head, we've not filmed it yet, it might not come out that way, but there is a little moment in my first episode where I, I do think I was proud of him at one point, you know, in, in season 10. There was some real for me so yeah it'll be interesting to play and see what we can so what we can add I've, I've made uh, I don't I mean I don't know if I'm it's not not me that's made them you know the writings the writing and it's I'm incredibly lucky with what I'm given to do from the get-go from the first scene where I met Crowley when I was like you know change you know meowed at him I, I really wanted it to have depth not just be like a, a baddie, be nasty, you know. And I wanted the, the survivor element, this woman who survived. I mean, I know how old I think I am, you know, because of the, the plague reference and stuff. I know how and what it takes to get through that. And I wanted to, I wanted to, br to bring that. And I think the, the, the writers see what you bring and then they, they run with it. So I, that's what I love about her is there's, there's, there's a couple, you know, there's more than one layer. She's not just nasty and I hope that continues to expand and you see, we will see, you do see a different aspect of her straight away in um, season Be alive, everybody managed to, um, yeah, so last day, everybody ready to go home and no. No. go, no, is it sad? Yeah. Have you guys been stuck in here most of the weekend though, or have you got to like walk around? Yes. Really? Yeah. So you can get out on the floor. I wish yes. I could do that. Apparently, <laughs> and she hasn't aged a bit. I don't understand how they do. movie magic. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it's uh, it's going to be it, well, it's going to be an adjustment certainly from Dean's perspective, but especially from Mary's perspective, and she's now in a world that is completely foreign to her, which is you know modern technology. Um, cell phone what's that the internet what's that so um you know so it, it was kind of i was reading and i was like oh yeah we've really made a lot of <laughs> a, a, a lot of, of of headway in like technology and, and everything over the past 30 years come on mom you gotta get on instagram what's, what are you doing it uh it, it i think for so she she's gonna be dealing with that she also has to deal with the fact that she's now learning that her her grown-up sons are living and have been living the life of hunters since the day she died, which is the life that she so desperately tried to protect them from. And I think that's that's going to be difficult for her to to really accept. And as far as Dean, you know, he's 
even though he's excited about the idea, I think, of mom being back, there's there's a vulnerability that is going to come along with that from Dean because now she's essentially a liability. Um, you know, somebody takes mom and tortures her. Well, that's one surefire way to get Dean to do whatever they want. Exactly. It's one more person to protect and one more person to probably have to sacrifice himself for. Of course, yeah, I, you know, this is a stranger to him and he's a stranger to her. And so trying to understand not only you know, who she is as an adult, but who she was before, you know, before Dean was born. You know, she did, she did live the life of the hunter and she, she was in that world. And she, there is a, there is a skill set that she, uh, that she possesses that will, that, that is not what Dean knew. Um, and so I think, I think that whole relationship is going to be really interesting because there, there are some, you know, there's a lot of emotion I think that's going to come along with that. So it'll be interesting. And I think that from what Andrew and Bob have said that they're going to, they're going to really kind of, uh, go down that road of, of tapping into the emotional vulnerability that, that having mom back brings to Dean and, and Sam. How does mom coming back affect Dean's relationship with Sam? Sam never became a baby, he didn't really know mom. Well, Dean didn't either. I mean, his memories of her, yeah, his memories of her are, you know, shoddy. Uh, so the fact that, you know, he's, a, he's adjusting, he's probably going to have to, you know, Sam's going to have to adjust the same as well. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be some interesting sidebar conversations, I think, between the brothers about what do they do with mom? Um, and of course, mom is, she's, you know, this isn't her home. This isn't, these aren't the sons that she knew. This is a completely different world. And it's not something that she's familiar with. And it's probably something that she's going to have to really have a, well, it's something that she's going to have a really difficult time navigating. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I've only, I've only read, I think the first three or four scripts. Um, and it's still dealing with that kind of like, because we there's also some other things going on too. Lucifer's running around. We got the the new Men of Letters chapter that's coming down hard on us, saying basically like, that's not the way we do things, and and we might not let you guys continue doing anything anymore. So well, I think once he finds out who they are, and then seeing what they've done to his brother, it's not going to be good. <laughs> yes, it is good to be back. Who knew, right? I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. There was a very specific set of rules. What I can say is that I am indeed alive. I'm not a ghost or a specter or anything like that. And that I'll be working with them, teaching them some of my old tricks, stuff like that. And exploring whether I knew or not everything that has happened in the 33 years since I... Up. So there's a lot. There is a lot to explore on every level. You know, John is gone, and they're grown men. Old. They're, I think Dean is, I think, nine years older than me now. I died when I was 28. <laughs> like, can I have a big ring light? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's super super fun. We just finished the first episode, and I, I mean, it might be the most fun I've ever had. The way you deal with different monsters is going to always be the same. But if you just think about the way things have changed since 1983 and how you can find information and, I mean, technology just being the first thing, but everything's different. Um, the cars, the people, the attitudes, all of it, which informs how you would do hunts and find what you're looking for. Sort of like drinking from a fire hose, I think, at this point, for Mary. <laughs> but at the same time, it doesn't matter. She doesn't care. Like. I have my kids, you know, so there's there's a lot of levels there. It's a lot. The whole first day I was like <laughs> on the set, you know, just trying to find my equilibrium. Well, I think you have to imagine, does she even know what he looks like? I likened it to a mother who gave up a baby for adoption when, she, when it was an infant and suddenly it's a grown person. And as a mother myself, I mean, I, two weeks is the longest I've ever been away from my son, but I, I, and he changed. I saw him yesterday for the first time in two weeks and I was like, you stinker, you grew. And his attitude changed and he got more mature. And I'm like, it's been like 13 days. <laughs> I think that it could be 20 years that I, you know, 30, 40 years, and I would still see him and be like, I'm your mother, you're mine. And you look in the eyes and you see it. And I think that even though being gone 33 years, I will still f feel maternal. 
Uh, I don't think it's a favorite, but she knew Dean. She there. She couldn't know Sammy. There was no nothing to know. You know, they they're six months old. It's still like they smile because like you bring me food. You know <laughs> the extent. But it's it's that it's a piece of you. It's a it's always a piece of you. It's, it's going to be it's going to be fun. So that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Periscope, add us on Snapchat, and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and check back every Thursday on comicbooks.com for new videos. Bye!